Hello YouTube modeling community. Mike here, Mike's Miniature Motors. Just uh, wanting to do a final on the Ducati Super Leggera. Uh, this was built for Cliff uh, GI Mechanics uh, 2023 motorcycle group build. Finally done with it. What are we? The uh, second day of August. Uh, eight months later. Uh, just a slow builder guys. Uh, but uh, hey, at least I got this one done this year. If you remember the uh, the Ducati Tricolor, the eleven ninety nine, um, you know that took me like a year and a half. It just just the way it is sometimes, guys. I, I wish I was more like Seamus sometimes, or some of you guys uh, that could build, you know, really quickly. I just it's just not me. Um, anyway, uh, just kind of a quick review. Like I said, this is the Tamiya kit. Uh, great kit, love it. Actually, if I you know. Uh, Studio 27, if you ever consider buying the bike, makes a uh, carbon fiber uh, decal set for it now. Uh, it would just save a lot of time if you wanted to make templates, or from having to make templates, because a lot of the bike is carbon fiber, not just what they have on the... To me, it gives you the, the carbon fiber for this, and this, and this, but... Uh, you know that that's really about it there's a lot more carbon all this should be this should be the frame should be i'm sure these should be uh front fairing <clears throat> anyway um studio 27 like i said they make one and i've honestly i've looked at it i've considered buying it and buying another super legera only because um i just think this bike just looks it's probably my favorite bike that i've built as as to date it just it just looks um, awesome. Uh, the last update I did, if you remember, I had all the, the, the sheet metal or the body work done. And, when, and I masked this off uh, because the carbon fiber on the real bike is flat in color. And I, it looked really nice and gloss, you know, with 2K over it. But I was like, you know what? It, the real one's that way. I just wanted to make it like that. And, and, and I, I was kind of a rush. It was a Sunday morning, and I was trying to get all the tape laid down so I could get it shot, uh, you know, before lunchtime. And, and I forgot to go back in and kind of press my tape down where, you know, where tape overlap each other. And this was probably my worst spot. I, I burned through here, but it went through just a lot of uh, slow, tedious sanding. I got all the, 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 the parts where I had the flat bleed underneath the tape. Uh, I got all those sanded out. As you can see, it's been re, you know, repolished, waxed, whatever terms you want to use. Uh, looks great, guys. Looks magnificent. The, I'd say probably the only setback I had, or, or part I didn't enjoy about the kit, I love decals, but what they use for tires now is so much different than uh, you know what I've seen them use on the Formula One cars I've built or the the. DTM cars that I've built, uh, so on and so forth. All the other race cars, it's it's been different, but this bike, it's similar, but it's it's a little different setup, and, and I just it, it gave me grief, and I, I struggled with putting those down. Uh, I mean, they look great, but it was just, um, I had a difficult time getting them down. Enough mumbling about that. Otherwise, guys, built straight out of the box. Um, the paint is uh, pure red. It's one of the newer colors. Uh, in the in the Tamiya TS line, um, and then flat red. This is NATO black. I don't really know what else to say about it. Uh, Y'all all got to see the progress of how it looked. Uh, you know, as I was building it, this is just how it looks now with all the uh, the body. If you want to say the body panels on it, uh, just again, like I said, neat looking bike. Hope y'all enjoy it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, you know, you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave my I try to reply to y'all as quickly as I can. Uh, just love these little, I guess you would call them a canard. It'd be the same thing on a bike as it would a car. Uh, just, it just look, I mean, that, that profile just looks, looks wicked for a bike, man. Just, I, I think it looks so cool. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'll zoom in a little bit more if I can. Uh, that's about it. Oh, I, I wanted to mention, uh, actually starting today. Uh, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday are the Nationals. They're in uh, San Marcos, Texas, which is only like 30 minutes away for me. So I'd be crazy not to go. Never been to the uh, Nationals before, but uh, riding up there tomorrow with a friend. 
and uh, hope to spend the day up there. I don't know if I'll go back Friday or Saturday. Anyway, I'm posting this today. In fact, of course, when I'm when I'm done filming, I'm going to post this. If you want to go to my email, which is I don't know exactly how to get to it here on on YouTube, but go to my email and you want to send me your number, I can text you, let you know where I'm going to be at, or uh, you can say, "Hey, Mike, send me your number." And when you get up there, if you if you plan on going tomorrow or this weekend at all. Uh, you can text me, and I'll text you back and let you know where I'm at. Like I said, I don't know for sure yet whether I'll go Friday or Saturday, but I'm definitely going tomorrow. So, uh, anyway, guys, I'm kind of babbling on. If you like the bike, you know what to do. Thumbs up, thumbs down, questions, comments. Uh, reach out to me if you want, if you plan on going to San Marcos. And uh, tomorrow's, no, tomorrow's uh, Thursday. I was going to say tomorrow's Friday. Uh, I do not plan on doing a throwback Thursday tomorrow because I... My intentions are to be up at the show, and I could probably go grab one now and film one, but I just call me lazy, guys. Uh, so uh, anyway, hope you enjoy the Ducati, and we'll see you, uh, I guess, next week for next week's Throwback Thursday. All right, everybody, God bless. Take care. Mike out. Bye-bye.